What's up, everybody? I'm Poo and Pete. Uh, I'm Mason. And we're back playing Friendly Fire Co-op in the fight. Hopefully everyone's not hate that decision and is now not watching this episode because you're so outraged over the fact that I have the gall to assume that I can just end the fight mid- or end an episode mid-fight and that you guys would come back. But anyway, yeah, it's kind of we had to do it because I have a feeling that, uh... He th feels like a woman. No, brum, that's brum, not. Uh, brum, brum, I just brum. I feel as if this, brum, brum. there's still a, quite a bit to this fight yet to come, and you know, ain't no one got time for that in the last episode. Ain't nobody got time for that. Exactly. I feel like I'm just trying to say. Oh, of course, the one enemy that was charmed is the only one that like actually dies. Let's uh let's do one of these so I just have all the action points. And I feel like that's enough for me that turn. Literally, because I'm out of action points, I just don't have a choice. And, oh, Medora. Why can't you just, like, reach just a little bit more with the axe and just kind of be like, eh. I feel like that's all you need to do. You just need a little, eh. Just need a little, eh. Yeah. You need a little, eh. I like that the ashes that you charmed still have the hearts over it. Yeah. Nice. Very loving ashes. Yeah, they're just in love with you so much. You're just so charming is what it comes down to. I bet that is a statement that has never been said to you before, ever. Mason, your willpower is really low. Are you going to go eat those Twinkies again? Harul, poison yeah, breath. man. <laughs> Lord of Nightshade, your eternal night is over. This is Return. a freaking long, long fight. I mean, I like the mechanics. Don't I like me the mechanics, but if I, I wish that like the option would be kill Maradino possibly, so that he can't summon every single one. That would be kind of nice. That's all I'm saying. Kill copy paste Serena. What? I oh said yeah. Kill copy paste Serena. I was like, why are we talking about copy paste Serena? And I remember that his name is basically that. There we go. At least blind is super good on him. Somehow you can blind a goose. Yeah. Well, you know, they still have, they have ghost eyes. It makes sense. you think I would have learned that that doesn't do damage, but I haven't. Because I don't learn but things. But it blinded him. It did blind him, so it's actually not a terrible move. But, like, I just don't learn things is what it comes down to. Yeah, you're like me, but not. I don't want to explode this turn because I don't want to hit Medora. I'm just going to back her up. Medora, it's time. Something. It's time to yeah. That was. I haven't used Firefly in a long time. That was like a six. It was almost. It was very six like, or it was like or a, nine, a nine because nines are like sixes that are upside down, and also Three, the shape six, I drew nine. is much more like a six. No, I have so much to <laughs> I should get the pack wheel down. <laughs> you should get what? The pack mule town. Well, I mean, or you can just throw all that gear you have at Jahan. Or all the loot you have at Jahan. Uh, You're gonna be a hoarder one day. It's gonna be really bitter. sad. Mason. If you had things in real life to hoard, you would absolutely hoard them. It's just you don't have anything. Look at that! What'd you do? I used Doctor. Apparently I have that skill. Oh, nice. I don't even know what that was. Does it get rid of debuffs so that you could... Um, cures weak, blind, mute, and infectious disease. Oh, nice. Shame it doesn't uh, fix your willpower so that you can resist sweet, sweet desserts. BRB. Twinkies. Are you actually, you're actually getting up and leaving? Really? Um, no. Oh, okay. Then you didn't respond right away. I was like, yeah, actually... I don't actually... have Twinkies in my house. Mason's like, how dare you assume that I would keep Twinkies? That's what it sounds like you're saying right Come now. On. They're either in the box or in my stomach. There's no keep. Oh, I get what you mean. It's just like you, like who has Twinkies just hanging out? Yeah. Because Twinkies just get eaten. I, I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down now. I missed it a little bit at first, but I see. Much I see like what you Medora's did there. Much like Medora's hit chance. Much like Medora's what? Ton. Hit, hit chance. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Medora sucks at that. Also, Medora is, like, literally naked right now. Except her helmet. Oh, no. She still has all of her gear on. She just doesn't have a weapon. He's just showing off now. He's like, ooh, look at all these spells I can cast. Ooh, look at all the action points. 
Yeah, seriously. How many freaking action points does he have? Because that was literally all of them. That well, was. Well, he was. Blinded oh, he was blinded. Yeah, I forgot about that. That doesn't mean that he should have all of them. Just like a hundred thousand. Like his cap for action points. His constitu. Oh, I get it. His constitution is really high. He has about a billion health, so obviously his cap for action points is really high too. Literally all of them. I wouldn't have known that if we didn't make the uh, character creation video just like a day ago. Yep. <laughs> That's a thing. That's a thing. Go watch that if you haven't. You can hear me talk like three times. Yeah. I knew, for the record, I knew it wasn't going to do damage that time. I was just trying to get the, the blind. I'm not that, I'm not that dumb. That I would not learn after like the fourth time. I, actually, I couldn't remember if he got stunned? knocked down. What? He, he stunned me. Because he has every freaking ability in the world. Oh, oh my, my god. god, this is just... F you... F you so much, Meredith the Even Star. You have to die. Oh man. Facebook alerts. I thought I turned you off. But yet, no, you're still here and you're blocking the timer on my phone. There we go. Are you going to kill Meredith the Even Star? I see that you're just yes. giving zero Fs about the fire yeah. and just did tons of damage to yourself. Don't care. It's a bold strategy. We'll see how it works out for him, Cotton. Yeah. John, can you just position yourself so you can see through the door? I don't know if this thing will even last long enough to get any auto attacks off, but if it does, it's going to do a bunch of damage. Oh, I'm so hungry right now. Holy crap. It just, it just like, came over me all of a sudden that I'm really, really hungry. I need to eat food. Right now, this exact instant, or I might starve. You stole my candy bar. Now I'm going to starve. <laughs> That's how I feel like every day. Yeah, like there are just always people stealing your candy bars. <laughs> yep. That's unfortunate. Is that a little girl at the Chinese store? She's not she's not nice. I never told I haven't stole that store yet. So I have uh, a, a, she, a shirt from uh, Rooster Teeth. It's the I Like Grape shirt. It's from, if, if, if you're familiar with Rooster Teeth, it's a Gavin quote because he's a dingus. Um, it's just a purple shirt. It says I Like Grapes on it and then it has a picture of grapes. And I was wearing it one day when I went to pick up Chinese. And this girl was like, what if I don't like grapes? And at first, I didn't even realize, like, what the heck she was talking about. I was like, like, what? Like, why would you just ask a random stranger that's trying to buy Chinese from you that question? Uh, and then I, like, looked down, and I was like, oh, I get it. Um, God, the freaking door, whatever. Just do this. Try to blind him, I guess. I don't even know. Um, so she asked me that, and I was like, oh, it's not, it's not like everyone likes grapes. It's just, like, some people. And then she was like, well, why doesn't it just say some people like grapes then? And I was like, I don't know. I didn't make the shirt. I was like, I guess it wouldn't fit. And she was like, oh, you could totally, you know, just move it down. And she's like, what kind of grapes? You know, purple grapes, green grapes, seedless grapes, seeded grapes, blah, 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 blah. Because apparently this girl who claims to not like grapes is also an expert on every kind of grape. She's, yeah. she's probably a liar. She probably loves grapes and just didn't want Fun to Fun fact, it. me, Mike, and Will... Almost went to go get Chinese there yesterday. Yeah. Just so Mike could see her. Because oh, she's sure. so sassy? Yeah. That's exactly the reason. Really? Uh, so she just sasses everybody. It wasn't just yeah. my... Okay. That makes me feel a little bit better. But yeah, so wearing the shirt, all that, you know, business was going on and her harassing me about whether or not people like grapes. Uh, and then she, as I was going to leave, she's like, what about raisins? And I was like, nobody likes raisins. And then she claimed that she did. And at that moment, I knew she was lying. But yeah, they was like the sassiest little girl ever. She was like 12. I just wanted to buy Chinese food. I didn't want to get in an argument about whether or not she likes grapes. You don't grapes. go there without getting harassed. Yeah, I didn't. No one prepared Every me for that. Every time I go and pick up Chinese food for the people at my company, yeah, they always send me because none of them ever want to talk to her. Just, you go in there and you talk to her for like five minutes. Yeah, like I wait for your food because yeah. I'm pretty sure they don't start cooking your food until you get there. 
Oh no, see, my but. food was ready. I just like, oh, he's immune to, of course, because that's also air. My food was ready, and she just talked anyway. <laughs> but she jags you about literally everything. Like, yeah. She always asks me why I wear tie dye every day. Uh, yeah, I mean, you do look kind of like a gay hippie. Well played. <laughs> So, I mean, I, I also might be a bit confused if I saw you wearing tie-dye. So, wait, but she'll always ask you why you're wearing it? Because, like, I feel yeah. like eventually, like, she knows. It's not like she forgets. I'm sure she does. Are those flies? Uh, they're a blood swarm. So, I flies. I think they're bats, maybe. Blood wasps. Blood wasps? Yeah, that's what the thing at the top says. Oh, so, yeah, they're probably wasps, not flies. Oh, you don't have a weapon on because I'm an idiot. Yeah, Dude, she just punched him so much. There we go. Medora the Karate Kid. <laughs> Medora the no weapons person. I've given up on explosions. It's much more worth it to just have everybody auto attack him a billion times. Especially while he's blinded and can't dodge. Are you stunned? No. I saw the, the staff underneath he was like glowing and sparkling, so I thought maybe. Please just do all of the damage. This fight needs to end. This is our first two-part fight. That's how long it is. Wow, he has a lot of health. I know, it's ridiculous. I it's like... Uh, can you heal me? <laughs> can I heal you? Yeah. I almost feel like they were like... I almost healed the ghost. I almost feel like they were like programming this fight and someone just put like an extra zero at the end of his constitution by accident or something. Five. That's million yeah, that's how it that's it feels like he has that much health. Let's haste me because we just need we need more action points. We need more auto attacks, just all the auto attacks. We need more damage. That does not have enough auto. That doesn't have enough action points. I feel like it'd be a lot better if I could actually use disease, but since he's immune to it, it seems significantly less useful. Medora, have you applied chilling once like this whole time? It just you just keep fumbling it. Oh, Ooh. that crit is nice, dude. Once again, undead decapitator being the real MVP. Death cannot hold you. Oh. oh, I forgot when about that Martino part. Your return. I want to know the story behind everybody else's names. I can't sneak now. Not with that attitude, you can't. It feels like there should be, like, more... Like, this fight is pretty cool. As much as I'm complaining about it because it's really long, uh, that's more of an inconvenience because, you know, we do a half-hour episode How can we things. be bothered to fight forever? No, it's, it's not that, but, like, it's a pretty cool fight overall. Like, I'll admit. Um... But it would be so much cooler if I knew what the heck was going on with all of these characters that aren't Meridino. You know what I mean? They're just kind of here, and it's like, like lab assistants or something. I guess so, but like they they each have their own like weapon, and like they they were all using different elemental spells, and the it blood seems swarm dream. it's yeah the blood swarm blood swarm dream. Um, it seems like there could be all kinds of like cool backstory behind this fight, and there's just really none. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. It's like, oh, you fight the ghosts. Yeah, it's like, oh, they're ghosts, and you're fighting them, and then they revive. And I, I feel like this could have been, like, a really, really cool boss fight. And maybe, uh, maybe I'm just missing something, and, like, if I read the books, I'll find more out. I'm not going to take the time to... There were, like, four books in here. I'm not going to read all of those on in recordings, because as much as you guys love hearing me talk, you probably don't like me reading in a monotone voice something, something that I don't... I'm just rambling at this point. Um, but yeah, not going to read all of them on screen. So, like, maybe there is actually a lot of story behind this fight that I'm missing. But it doesn't feel as if there was that much leading up to it. And I would like to know more. The end of a rant. Okay. Let's -a go. Where are we supposed to go now? Back to... Frederick. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. I forget where how to actually get out of this place. Is it this way? Down the hill. Yeah, okay. It's not really a hill, it's more like stairs. Just saying. Yeah, wouldn't you think this is the cave that the goblins 
have the totem in? I didn't see it. Hello? A totem. Frederick's in pain. Did you see a totem? I didn't either, but it, he said the cave north of the Goblin Village. Are we going to give the bloodstone shard to that guy? I don't know. I guess we'll find out when we get there. <laughs> I'm going to go down to him, though. You probably want to come with me, because when I'm talking to him, I imagine this is a decision we both can make, but if you're really far away, you won't be in the conversation. There might be another cave uh, that like we just can't see near the probably. goblins. It is so warm in the room that I record in right now. I'm dying. All right. You can do it, Mason. I believe in you. A little bit closer. Oh, I'm yeah. about to burp, maybe. My friend nope, just kidding. Returns. Okay. Uh, let's discuss that bloodstone. The bloodstone, give it here. Come, Frederick wants to march back to the Immaculate Temple on two strong legs. Really? You actually want to give it to him? That's weird. Usually you're like the, oh, let's be greedy and keep it for ourselves thing. But also, I just, you know... You surprised me, Mason. That's all I'm saying. Oh my god, how? Every how do you always the first time I was like, oh, he'll never see this coming. Like, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get him real good with these paper. How? There we go. But actually, I always pick I'm not happy about it. I hate you. That's that's all that can be said. Yep simple as that. I hate you so much. The paper dream! Paper sweep dream! Yes! Haha! Hmm. Go! This is, this is big. This could be two in a row if I win this one. Yeah. You're thinking too much for a rock, paper, scissors game. Oh, dude, you gotta go with the classic, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, we'll do as I say. What do you mean you're keeping it for yourself? That's Frederick Stones. Frederick's right. Like a bigoted grandfather serviced by a kindly immigrant postman, you realize the errors of your way sooner or later. Until we meet again. Oh, so this is gonna have negative repercussions on me? Yeah! I thought he'd just die. What? We need to find another way to get into the Immaculate Cult. Why don't we give it to Frederick? Why didn't you bring that up? Rip, Frederick, rip. We, we may have made a, a, a mistake there. That may have, that um, happen. let's be real here. You made a mistake. Mason, you, why didn't you suggest your logic to me? Hmm, spaghetti. I thought it was going to be like you were absolutely going to vote to keep it. And then it was just like my decision to decide whether or not we were going to rock, paper, scissors. Or if I was just going to vote to keep it. To, or talk to Drog over here. Over where? I feel like what it came... Drog to, uh, is a bunny. What it comes down to is you Come back, Drog. surprised me with your kindness. And I, I you know... Drog, you, please. You're allowed to talk about the decision that you want to make before you make the decision. <laughs> He just really doesn't want to talk to you. Oh my god. It's a bunch of animals. Okay. This is better. How excited are you right now? This is like your dream. Just a bunch of animals that you can talk to all at once. Damn you, Timfred. I'll put you in a stew if you don't. You're knocking on the door. Oh, okay. <laughs> I lost control of my character. Right, there we go. <laughs> what? <laughs> this this rabbit thinks he's a dragon. <laughs> Fluffy ass back here. Maybe he is. You just don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> Until we meet again. That's awesome. Well, there. Oh, I should probably talk to the Until one human that's here. Hey. You love birds, God yeah. speak down to you. Well, I love the hills, man. Howdy, lovely day for a romp through the forest, innit? Ha, like hell. Goblins round here swarm as thick as flies round me cat cattle's arses. Put an axe in my in my bloody 
on my bodyguard's face, one of them did. Right where his big drunken nose used to be. Uh, well, I mean, with that being said, how about you just tell me about yourself? <laughs> so you wish to partake in a polite little parlay about our respective prospects, purposes, and expectations in life, do you? Bloody rotten nonsense, that. I'm Roy. I'm in the animal trade, and instead of knocking back cheap rye and silver glen, I'm stuck in a friggin' forest surrounded by totem-worshipping savages that want to use my privates for target practice. There, now you know it all. I'm really glad that finally, like, someone just gave me sass back. Because, like, your character's always just like, oh, tell me about yourself, no matter what the situation is. That's the first thing that's, like, always said. Finally, Roy was just like, I'm, I'm sick of just all the crap that you've been giving me. Just, I don't want to tell you about myself. I'm getting attacked by goblins. I, my latest set of merchandise, joy to hurt them that lot, until they crap all over your shoes, that is. Won't cost me fortunes on boot blacks' wages much longer, though. Bought them for cheap from Berta back in the city, and I'm about to sell them dearly indeed in Sacred Stone. Full of lunatics, that place, or so I've been told. They'll slice these beasts from ear to ear the moment they can get their hands on them. Use the blood in rituals or some such. Lunatics, right? Madmen. Let me ask you some more questions. Uh, tell me about your bodyguard. Donnie. Bah, some thug from Cecilia was. All balls, no brains, you know? Perfect set of qualities to lead me past them zombies, I figured. Figured right, I did, until we met we met them goblins. Now you can have botlucks, bollocks. Uh, now you can have bollocks bigger than that bull over there, but it takes a fair bit of win and, wit and cunning to be the goblin at the hunt at the hunting game. And Donnie, I tell you, the simple soul would have believed you if you told him eggs grow on eggplants. <laughs> what do you have about Silverland? Not but your typical mining settlement in Silver Glen. You know the kind, rough and tumble shacks, rough and tumble work folk, and a handful of women that let their petty petticoats drop to the floor the moment they see a shiny coin between your fingers. <laughs> Those goblins sound nasty, you mentioned. It's just like, just jumping from point to point. No kidding, first is a hungry mountain lion, that lot, with swords and spears for talons. Donnie and I must have ventured too far north. I'm just going to hang low until I can no longer smell them, and then I'll make a dash for it, without an escort this time. Uh, Mason, do we want to, do we, perhaps you need an escort out of here? I mean, which way do you think he'll go? Because to the south there are a bunch of trolls. Uh, probably to the north, I think that's where he said he was going, wasn't he? Sure, I don't know. Perhaps you need an escort out of here. Oh, you'll provide protection, will you? Be my paladin, my knight in shining armor? Like hell you will. You with your fancy weapons and armor, you rattle like a gypsy's wagon. Every damn gone between here and the friggin' moon will hear, you com hear us coming. No, no, I'll get out of here soon enough by my bloody self. Until we meet again. Frederick, why are you just like... Er, uh, why not Frederick? <laughs> Who's Frederick? Is leading these beasts Frederick's to the, the guy slaughter. with the broken leg. Uh, I say we okay. slaughter him. We met Roy a merchant on his way to deliver a herd of animals. I'll put you in a herd of animals to the silver line. They're destined to be slaughtered, though they seem to be oblivious to their fate. Why is Roy just the freaking sassiest, like... Get back. Why is he giving us negative attitude? I may or may not have told the rabbit to run away. Mason. Why? Why are you all about saving... You're only nice to animals in this game. You're a dick to everybody else. And, and a bunch of trolls right And also below. apparently Fred. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we can talk to him. Mason, it's just gonna be rock and like these trolls have been busy of late. Mason, we're just gonna get to play uh, so rock paper scissors, and then oh, I'll win because you know both. I'm great, and then it'll be fine. Look, one of <laughs> one of the alien aspect approaches. Go on, my boy. State the ancient demand. Er, um, troll. Well, well, not correct, my son, but not quite. Uh, um, er, troll, 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 troll. Uh, you come very close to your approximation of the venerable bid, my boy, but a tiny flaw distorts it still. To, to troll toll. Capital, my son. Most excellent. I'm very proud of you indeed. Now then, dearest wonder of Lucala's leaf strewn lanes, you have heard our invi inviolable command. Pay us trolls the, the toll that is our prerogative, and the bridge shall be yours to cross. Archibald speaks so, like, fancily. That's not a word, but we're going to use it. That I'm actually having trouble reading his words out loud. Who are you two? I am Bridgekeeper Archibald, and this wee cherub is my dear son Amadeus. I am in charge of his education and will see to it that one day he shall become the greatest bridge keeper ever to voice the hollowed tenant Trolltoll. Yet so he shall, so he shall indeed. I have some questions from you. Uh, ask them, I shall answer. What happened to those dead travelers? Those clubbed unfortunates over yonder, they did not pay the toll traveler. And to be clubbed, I'm afraid, is the fate that indub indubitably befalls those who do not heed the infrangible doctrine that is Trolltoll. Uh, why must we pay a toll? Because our king deems it equitable that we should do so. His word is law among us trolls, and by extension, anyone who travels through his lands, the woods of Lucala. Let's discuss the troll king. They say only one of your kind has ever met him, and even that is but a rumor. Meridino is the name this exception went by, a sorcerer. 
no use to quit that grimace of a eccentric character. I was told he had a layer upon Lucala's desert plan, but I've never seen proof myself. All for the better, I believe, for should he have stood in the presence of the king, his presence would have been snuffed decisively and brutally. Bang. With a bang indeed, Amadeus. Alright. Uh, anything to trade? No. Uh, let's discuss the toll. Now then, my boy, please acquaint our aspirant bridge crosser with the quantity of the toll they must pay. The toll is, uh, one million gold coins. Indeed it is not, Amadeus, as you very well know. Greed is a vice, my son. It is a vulture most vile that preys on virtue. Cast it from your soul and restate the pecuniary levy we desire with all your heart's honesty. 1,350 coins, please, traveler. 1,350 coins. Uh, do we want to pay? I feel like we pay him for All right. Thank you very much indeed. You have been most courteous and forthcoming. Now then, what do you, what do we say, my boy, to the kind traveler who has sufficiently dispersed us? Or we say, thank you. So, or thank you, traveler. But daddy, this is such a bore. I want the club some more. <laughs> Amadeus, such a bore. I want the club some more. Have you been talking to that ne'er do well of a Belliger again? <laughs> please, please do forgive him, Wonder. I shall have a sound word with this wee rap sky and indeed. In the meantime, do feel free to cross the bridge. All trolls thanks you for wholeheartedly. Oh, all right. Heh, that was a quest. Weirdly enough, just like talking to the troll and such. Where did you go? Where? Okay, you're there. Uh, do we want to go down? Uh, let's get the way. Did you get the waypoint? Uh, no, there are people to fight down there. In front of oh, the I didn't even see them. It's only two. I'll be fine. I literally did not even see that. I was so distracted by the uh the waypoint oh there's a person here too he's a slave um where are you what are you doing oh mason you're sitting apparently sneaky. my sneaking's failed because that slave saw me uh what a jerk dude he must have like stockholm syndrome he's helping out his teammates or his slave hers is that the word slaver i guess we'll go with it close enough you just I run away. You're, because I know you're, you're gonna explode. Nah, I don't need to explode for two people. I'm just gonna charge in here. There we go. Look at that. I feel like it's not worth exploding for two people. Exploding is like the best whenever there's like many, many people to hit. Two is just kind of like meh. This is a super awesome piercing ice shard possibility, even though I might hit you. Nope, I'm gonna hit the fire. Nope. Oh no, I froze the chest. How are we gonna get it now? It's just going to slide out of our hands. <laughs> this is a super easy fight. I feel like this slave is going to have, like, some story connect. This this has to be, a, like, it's weird to just see, you know, a, a trash fight of two enemies that are really easy to kill. You know, know what I'm saying? Yeah. You made a terrible mistake. Let's, uh, what do I want to use here? There we go. That was a super easy fight. That's why I'm convinced there's some, something else going on here. All right. Old dragon scale armor. That sounds like it could be cool. Slave. Well, I'll Blessed re. may you be by all seven gods, dear champion. But for your timely intervention, I would have ended up in either an orcish cauldron or the goblin slave pen where whence these tr thugs were ordered to march me. Uh, how do you end up here? I'm from Hunter's Edge, a hamlet to the east of here. Heed my advice and stay well away from the pitiable place, for no human may walk there freely anymore. The works came in the night, and we stood as much chance as chickens would locked in a hen house with a pack of starving wolves. Not to mention that our champion, Medora, had already abandoned us. Oh! I love me some Medora plot. Those who escaped their initial frenzy eluded their horrid hunger. were all enslaved. I myself was en route to be sold as a slave to the goblins, but those idiot orcs denied to pay a troll, their eternal troll tool. Needless to say, a fight ensued, a fight that brood of a troll won with flying colors. Oh, that's why the fight's so easy, because, okay. We Mary three were, then, were the only ones to escape the carnage, and were taking a bit of breather, that is to say. The fight had made my orc guardians hungry once more. Had Pudgy Pete survived, he'd have been skinned and chopped by now. Regular devils, these orcs. Uh, I have some more questions for you. Uh, tell me about the goblins. The goblins have been the masters of Silverglen's mines for a while now. Took it by force, from what I hear. From what I hear, the erstwhile miners back in the village have no idea their brethren from Hunter's Edge are being forced to slave in their lost quarry. The more fool... The more fool them? That's weird. 
Uh, ask me not why it has been the nucleus of such strife, for I haven't the foggiest. In truth, I don't intend to find out either. Thanks again for freeing me, dear champion. I'll make a dash for it to Cecile and hope the undead there have grown sluggish enough for me to slip by. Uh, you have nothing to trade, Until which makes sense because you're a slave, and you open the chest. Let's get this. Dude, that's stone. It looks like something should be going on over there. You see, like, this area? Can you find anything? Like, dig anything up? Um, it's just marking the goblin village. Oh, I... T you know how dumb I am? Probably go talk to them. I didn't even, like, I didn't even realize this was a path to the goblin village. Like, I literally, I thought it was a cliff. Alright, anyway. Uh, Alright, we will actually, we'll go into the goblin village on the next episode of Friendly Fire Co-op. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to subscribe if you'd like to see more daily Divinity Original Sin content in the future. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.